once again, not really a fan of news stories, but kind of interesting story just cropped up. The Young Turks, and no, I'm not a fan, but uh, they sometimes bring up stuff that you can address in a different way. So apparently, in Florida, a 28-year-old son of a fertility doctor has been charged with murder by switching the label of a bottle of pills that his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend was taking, which brought about a essentially involuntary abortion. I think the fetus was six weeks old or something. And the interesting thing, of course, is that the Young Turks themselves admit this was a bit of a quandary because he's being charged, he's put up on federal charges of murder, but this is, of course, the classic problem, and, and even the Young Turks are admitting that the so-called conservative argument uh, that you know, the fetus is a life might have some traction here. Now, for the record, for the record, uh, I technically support abortion, technically speaking, uh, but I also support the right of the man to opt out. Let's just look at the dynamic here, and this is what some of the commentators in the actual Young Turks video said. Ultimately, it seems to be a question of metaphysics and a question of opinion and a question of context as to whether or not a woman considers the fetus in her womb, in her stomach, a, a a life or not. If she desires to have the fetus and to bear it forth as a fully fledged human being, then it's a life. If she doesn't, it's just a fetus. Now, I'm not going to get into the debate whether or not it, it actually is a life at six weeks or not. I think it's very relevant here. And I'm certainly not going to defend the rather horrific and monstrous machinations of the boyfriend who slipped uh, her with the essentially abortion, call it abortion pill. But this is a slippery slope, as the Young Turks themselves say, because it's kind of just an arbitrary designation, depending on the context of whether a life is life or not. You know, if you hit a car with a pregnant woman, you can get, ch and say the fetus dies, you can get charged with for, for murder, accident or not, depending on the state, as far as I know, or that might be federal as well. So, this is a big problem. But what's the solution to solve the problem here? It's pretty simple, actually. The solution to solve the problem is to allow men to opt out. Now, what the guy did goes without saying, was horrific, but he adamantly did not want to have the child. Now, I don't know if he was concerned about being put up for child support or what have you, whatever, but the simple fact is that the problem itself would be solved uh, without even needing to define what's a life and what's not a life and under what circumstances if men simply had the option to opt out, to sign a piece of paper and say, I will have nothing to do with this child, it has no, bar you know, barring my genetic relationship to no relationship to him whatsoever, that's it, and he's gone. And the woman takes the child on her own as her responsibility, and that's it. Simple solution. Of course, instead of looking at that as a solution, we have the eternal and epic and almost Zarathustrian battle between the left and the right. Notice how this is a constant in, in, in human conflict and human civilization. The evil and, the, and the, the good, the dark and the light, you see it in various religions, particularly monotheistic religions, and you see it in the, in the arena of politics as well. Make no mistake, it's no different. Uh, whether the fetus is, is a life or not, it's not really relevant. What really is relevant is that the fa father has no agency. He has no choice. He has no freedom of association. His freedom of association with the child is determined by the mother. If he doesn't want to associate, it doesn't matter, because 
she tells him whether or not he can associate. If he does, it doesn't matter because she tells him he cannot associate with the child. Uh, so, yes, this is a monstrous crime. It should never be done. But it is not looking at the issue in the proper context. Now, notice how the young Turks, typical, I mean, they are a left-wing channel. Uh, and this is not me endorsing the right here. They're both, both sides are incredibly flawed and, uh, and, mon and almost monolithic in their perspectives. Uh, but uh, being a left-wing channel, do not even, well, the right wouldn't talk about it either. Do they not talk about the father's rights or the man's rights? Very simple solution, ladies and gentlemen. Let the father have a say in it, either to say yay or nay, no, I don't want anything to do with the child, or yes, I do want to have something to do with the child. Very simple. I don't see why this is such a problem, unless the society we live in is pretty misandric, unless there's something going around called gynocentrism, unless the entire world and our civilization, particularly modern civilization, is infused with a kind of super hyper gynocentrism. Maybe that's the case. It sure seems to be. Um, because, as usual, the man has no say whatsoever. And for those who ask why MGTOW exists, well, and why am I, I mean, as I said in my previous video, there's so many different kinds of MGTOW, but let's look at it this way. You know, I'm, I'm done with relationships with women, and I also don't pursue sexual relations with women, mostly because it just bores me. Usually I have nothing to say, and the sex usually sucks. It's not something I could just uh, waste time, energy, and money on pursuing. Just, mm. Anyway, but the more important consequ uh, consequence that can result from such things is you know, a pregnancy. Uh, remember, the man only has access to a condom, in some cases a vasectomy, uh, and the woman decides essentially whether or not she gets pregnant or not. I mean, she has all the, once again, all the, pow all the power over her fertility. She has the say over whether or not the child uh, shall be conceived, uh, it, and the list goes on. So a really simple solution to a problem that uh, is a lot more problematic than it has to be. Let the father say yay or nay. No, I don't want anything to do with the child. Okay, take care, good luck. I do. And, you know, but there, there is no, uh, th I mean, this is what I suppose MRA is, and once again, I'm not an MRA talk about when they talk about reproductive rights, and I'm on the same page as MRA in this regard. It's uh, it's ludicrous. Uh, it's, I think it's less of an issue of trying to define whether or not the fetus is alive and what have you than, you know, this is just a bunch of bollocks. You know. And as usual, the Young Turks missed the mark by uh, a thousand miles there, but uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, just this was noteworthy enough, I think, to make a little video on just because, well, this is a serious problem, and it happens every day. In fact, I guarantee in some state in the United States, and the UK as well, and the uh, nether regions of Australia and New Zealand, uh, that this is happening in, in almost exactly the same way, minus the murder, perhaps. Some woman got pregnant and says, I don't want you, I'm having the child, I want you to have nothing to do with the child. Some woman gets pregnant, I want, I'm having the child. I want you to have some, I, you have to get involved with the child, the father doesn't want to get involved with the child, the woman says, I'm not having the child, the father wants the child, and so on and so forth. Uh, it, it's ludicrous. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this. Some food for thought, uh, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be coming out with a rather lengthy uh, video or series of videos, at least that's what I'm planning on. So everyone take care. Bye-bye.